first recording, I think it is, yeah. Hello, golf friends. Welcome back again. Fortunately, again, I'm on the windyard again. I've just rushed out again. Uh, rushed my shirt on. We got a golf club. That's it. Yeah, I've just rushed, rushed on again. Grabbed my shirt, put it on. Grabbed my trousers, grabbed my shoes. I'm back on again. Uh, it's now six o'clock. I would love to get nine holes in if I, if I could. Because tonight I'm doing a game, a nine hole game of poker chip golf. Now, I don't know if any of you have heard of this game. It's a little game that comes in a little box. You get 16 chips. I mean, me, me, me and the two chips haven't come yet. I'm a little bit annoyed. Um, but, but I will add them in anyway. We don't need the chips because we can add them in anyway. Um, one of them's going to be for the longest drive. I want to go. I'm, I might, I might, I might go for the yellows in the second, and then the white off the rest because there's people teeing up there. I'll let them just tee off. And um, I'll stop the recording for a bit, just for now. Yeah, tonight we're playing a game of poker chip golf. Now, before I tee off, I'll just, I just want to show you the little packet actually. Where is it? Here it is. Yeah, it came today off Amazon. 20 quid. Chip and win. The on-course golf poker game. So I've just got to get it out quickly because I really want to get through tonight. I can in an hour and 50 minutes. I doubt I will, but yeah, it's different chips. Now, if you do whatever it does on the chip, you get the chip. So, for example, there's the negatives. Lost ball, sand, lost temper, seven in the water. If you hit any of them, you get the chip, a red chip. Now, if you do anything good, like a one put or a birdie or a two birdies in a row or the nearest pin, you get a green one. Now I'm going to do each hole and I'm going to go through each one and any I do that's positive I am going to put in this little box anything that's negative I'm going to put in the little box and at the end of the end of the day how many chips you get is your plus score minus your negative score and that's the score you get. Um, it's a one player game you can play it with two players, three players, four players as many as you want. So if I do like a sand save it goes in there. When I put a one put after the sand, if I lost, lose my temper, it goes in there. Um, everything like that. So that's so that's the ones in there I've got to do to get. Uh, but it's the green ones I want. I don't want the red ones. If I lose my temper or something like that, I will need to get that chip. So yeah, we'll see how we do tonight with this poker chip game. It's meant to be for one one to four players apparently. You can play by yourself. So we'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. Here we go on the second hole. Let's see if I can get through nine, hopefully. If not, I'll just have to do six like last night. Good start. Yep, straight down the middle. Right fairway. 55 hybrid, fantastic. Good start, good start John. I don't think you get anything for a good first drive. You do get the longest drive, which I'm gonna to give to myself if I hit a bomb, but I haven't I haven't got that chip. That was one of the ones I, I bought in, but there's still, I think 14 of them, which should be enough. That's a good first drive. Let's get down there and see where the ball is. So yeah, um, I just want, before I get up to my ball on this, second hole here I just want to make a little uh, announcement about my second charity challenge the second one I'm going to do 
Uh, but I can confirm now it's going to be Cancer Research UK. I've put it up on the Facebook page if you want to have a look at it. Um, you can also again donate like the last time by bank transfer or uh, PayPal or just give me the cash if you want new cash. Um, and I'll do it on my phone for you and put the donation through to them for you. Um, yeah, it's going to be Cancer Research UK from my dad's friend. Uh, Chris Bell won the prize and everything. And um, that's his charity, so we're going to do it this time. Um, hopefully when I'm better I can put a deadline on it and get out. Hopefully I can do 18. I want to do 18 for you. If not, it'll have to be 9. And it'll have to be a, a shoot 43 challenge. There's the ball there. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the next one. I would love to get onto a new course again. If not, it'll have to be Winyard again. But I would absolutely love to get on a new course for you. Um, I'm looking to probably somewhere close, it'll probably have to be somewhere like Castle Eden or Billingham or somewhere like that, probably Billingham's the closest and I've never played actually, which would be quite interesting. Um, there's Notley Hill again, although I don't like Notley Hill, they're, they're not the, the best, they harass you every few holes, but we'll see, we'll see, just to confirm, and the prizes, you're definitely going to get a t-shirt, you're definitely going to get one of my towels and you're definitely going to get one of my hats because I've got them in supply now. Okay. yards so I can go for it I can go for it and I am gonna go for it here we go It's up where that bunker is. I hope it's not in the bunker. But if it is, I know fine well I can get out of it. So, not too bad, not too bad for a second shot. Let's see where the third is. Right, so I've been a little bit lucky. I haven't gone in the bunker because I actually think that's one of the, um, one of the chips being in the bunker. Just short of it, I've got a nice little pit. Well, I wouldn't say nice, this is a tough shot, tough shot again. Miracle shot coming up, but uh, I just ordered a tie at the second hand wedge actually 60 degree. It'll be interesting to see because this is the last one I've got of the Cobras. I can't, I couldn't get a decent price 60 degree one, so it'll be interesting to see what the Cobra, the uh, the tightless one's like. The tightless bulky or something you call them, something like that. Seven degree bounce. This one, I didn't tell you what the bounce is. I think this is only an eight degree though, so. It shouldn't really matter, it's only 8 degrees. Oh. Well, for once it's let me down. So that's three. For once the short game's actually let me down. I, I, I am, to be honest, a metre away from it being perfect, kicking on. But um, it's not like me that, it's not like me, I mean, it was a tough shot, I mean look at how much green I had to work with, let's be fair, it wasn't the easiest shot in the world was it? Okay, so I might even put this, I don't know how I'm going to stop it like, but I'm going to put it. <clears throat> okay, here we go then. Yeah, that was embarrassing. That was a little bit embarrassing. Oh dear, that's four I've had.
this stick. So we'll have a quick look uh, as I walk up to the 13. We'll have a quick look in that little box that we've got, and we'll see what poker chips are in it. Um, I'll have a quick look now. See if what I did wrong. See what I did wrong. Green one put no birdie no eagle no three positive no 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 sand save no nearest the pin no. Red three put. Well, I did actually from off the green, didn't I? So I've got that one. No, 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 no. Okay. Well, unfortunately, the one I've got to put in this little box now is the three put. Damn it. There we go, three put. So, just to confirm, there it is, the three put. Let's go in. Into the box, the box of sin. <laughs> oh dearie me, so I'm minus one already. I've only played one hole. Okay. Onward to the second. Yeah, I've decided to go off the uh, the white just to make it a bit of a challenge. One seventy. It really is a seven iron, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'll make it a challenge. I'll go off the white. Um, is it seven enough? With carry, yeah. I think. It, yeah, yeah. It should. It should. If I hit it straight enough, it should be okay. It should be okay. So yeah, I'm minus one already on the third hole. where that right bunker is. Hopefully I've cleared over it. If not, it's going to be in the bunker and I'll have the sand chip. Oh, dear me. If I've got the sand chip, I'm going to be minus two. But never mind. Uh, second shot will be coming up soon. Well, who's a lucky boy? Just short again of the bunker. Okay, so it's another little pitch onto the green. And uh, let's be 60. There it is. Yeah, yeah, I'll go over the 60, little pitch on. Never mind. It's all right though. It's okay. Putting for a four. It's okay. Yeah, we're a little bit further right than I thought. That shot from seven iron. But never mind. We are. Um, <laughs> I tell you what, I played monkey compared to those clubs yesterday. I think I'm in a comfort zone again. Getting those clubs back. Too much of a comfort zone. Right. Well, there's the putter. Let's see if I can get par. I don't think there's a par chip. No, I don't think there is. I think there is for three pars in a row, but I, not just for one par. Right, so four. Got one. The good thing about this shot tracker is all my shots are going to be on the, the watch so I can look afterwards as well. I, I love I love the idea of that, that I can actually see where all my shots have gone after the round. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, I'll, I'll just keep recording because it's all just here. But I think that's brilliant, this shot scope. I really do, how you can see every single shot. And I think the Garmin have got one and it'll be even better than this. But the Garmin's about 320. 320 quid, 350 quid or something. 
This one's only 180, so uh, yeah. Okay, we'll go off the whites. Where's the? Oh, the whites are all the way back here, aren't they? Gonna have to use the big boy. The driver's gonna have to come out. I think there's a water chip, sand chip, the three put I've got. Losing your temper. Uh, hitting the tree is another one, which no doubt that could possibly happen in these holes. Um, lost ball, lost ball's another. So yeah, you've got to keep the negative ones out, and you, and you have to hold the positive ones. A seven and eight as well. I haven't had a seven or eight yet. That's good. Okay. Big boy's coming out. The big boy is coming out to play. And again, golf friends, my eyes are a bit weak and stuff tonight. Again, I'm not marvelous. So bear with us. It's not the cramp tonight, it's the weakness again, which is can be just as bad in the throbbing. In fact, the throbbing's even worse than the cramping. That stops you from driving in all sorts, but let's not worry about that for now. Let's just enjoy this. Where's, uh, where's my big T's gone? Ah! There's one. There's another one. Right, here we go. I'll tell you what, off the white tee, this is actually quite a hard hole. I haven't appreciated how hard it is, 400 yards off the white. How tight it is actually for driving. Your hybrid, you don't appreciate it as much as you do when you have to drive it. There's lots of open fairway, but trust me, golf friends. You're in the rough, you're buggered, you're knackered. If you get it off to the left, you're knackered as well because of the bunker there and there's also tins of garbage. So you've got to hit it pretty straight. The line's got to be. You see the green leather line bunkers, I keep telling you this, that's your line, it's the right bunker. First cut possibly, but it's not going to be in the long grass. If that's in the long grass, there needs to be an investigation because that went straight as a die. Okay, we'll see we third shot when I get down there. Okay, golf friends, I haven't got this chip, but this has got to be the high bomb, the, the long drive chip because. It was 398 yards on my watch, and I've got up to the ball. It says 116 yards to the middle. I think it's about 100. Well, looks to be in the middle. So about 150. I might go for 52 actually. See if I can get it there. But yeah. So it's 1-1 one, one now. That's the long drive. It's got to be the long drive. I mean, I've hit that 280 yards. I can't hit that any further. I absolutely cream cracked it. So yeah, that's the long drive one done. Very, very good 52. So long drive. I wonder if there's a green in regulation. Did they have one for green in regulation? I don't know, but uh, certainly good enough. And uh, that's my second shot. We'll see where the third is. Well, that was nearly good enough. The closest to the pin. Nearly, but not quite. Uh, yeah. So yeah, just got to remember we don't have the long drive chip. It hasn't came, it didn't come in the post. I've got two separate ones. Um, but one of them was the long drive, I forgot what the other one was for the negative. But yeah, um, this is my third. I think there's a one for a birdie, isn't there, for positive? So we could be looking at two chips in one hole here for positive. That's good.
again for you Miguel yeah brilliant birdie so yeah let's have a little look in our little secret pouch of little chips and see what we've got here we've got no we haven't got two birdies in a row we've got birdie we've got a birdie we've got one putt oh yes yes this is looking good golf friends one putt so what's three one sand save chip in Three pars in a row, no. Nearest the pin, not quite, not quite an eagle. Now, what's the negatives? No, there was no negatives on that hole. You should can out with a birdie, can you? Okay. So, oh, put them back in, hold on. Right, the one put we want to keep. And the birdie we want to keep. The others go back into the chip bag. And these go into our little secret box um, plus one remember for the long drive so I'm now three one up after one an extra hole after two holes which I'll take let's move on to the next yeah well you'd think the way the light is it was half seven it's not it's only half six believe it or not but yeah um, this is the third hole I'm playing Three degree hybrid out. And I could get the driver and try and blitz it, but 362 yards, I don't really want to take the risk. I never really have used a driver on this hole ever, to be honest. Okay, here we go then. 20 degree out. Oh. What I've done with this, I'm going to have one of those jammy biscuits from Greg's. Very nice there. Jammy heart to the call. They don't call them biscuits, they call them jammy heart biscuits. I'm not supposed to, being on steroids, I'm not supposed to have sugary things and because of the, uh, it raises your blood sugar level and everything and you could be a bit bobbly and everything, but I don't care. Bugger them. You're allowed to come down again, John. One little jammy biscuit is still on a target. Next thing you know. <laughs> Next thing you know, oh, I'm sorry, golf. There's no more videos that have said I'm uh, I'm diabetic. <laughs> that would sum it up, wouldn't it? So how my looks going? So here we go. Right where I want it, where the trees are. It's fading a little bit, but that's findable. That is no issues, no issues whatsoever. So nice and safely off the tee. The second shot should be a nice little shot where I'm going to have to go over the bunker, obviously, and stop it dead. But it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, I uh, I did watch you film last night. It wasn't a Tarantino film I watched though. It wasn't Tarantino. It was. Um, who do you call them? Man? The Marx Brothers, is not the Marx Brothers. Uh, the Corn Brothers, the Corn Brothers, yeah, they did a serious man. Hey, you've got to see that as well, a serious man. What a fellow that is, it's fantastic about this Jewish family and this bloke. Everything's going well for them, and all of a sudden, like that, his, his whole life just collapses. Uh, but no, uh, it's called the, the, the Ballad of Buster Scru Scruggs. I've, I've never seen it before, and I thought, oh, the Corn Brothers, it'll be good. And it wasn't like a proper film, it was like different stories, but it starts off with this um, Western gunslinger called Buster Scrubs on a, on a horse and everything. And he's singing these songs, and he's going in, and he's wearing all white in the Wild West. And obviously in the Wild West back then, they didn't wear all white and everything, and they, they thought he would look like a bit of a, uh, you know, a, a dodgy boy, so... He's going round and they said, oh, can you serve us whiskey? Oh, we don't serve no, no whiskey to people like you here. Well, they've got whiskey. Yeah, well, you know, they're proper gunslingers. And then the bloke goes, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a highwayman, blah, blah, blah. I've got a gun and everything. He says, excuse me, sir. It's uh, part of the rules of the establishment that you are not allowed to have a handgun in, in this here building. So if I was you, son, I would put it down before things get rather nasty. And what do I do if I don't? Well, we don't want to discover what's going to happen if you don't put that gun down. And then he gets his hand closer to the gun, and what if I don't? 
and on the table there's a, a loose plank. He steps on a loose plank and the plank goes up the ends of, and the, the gunslinger ends up shooting himself in the face. It's brilliant man. Buster scrubs. He's killing everybody until he meets his match and then finally he gets done. But yeah, it's good that Buster scrubs. Right, how long have we got? 135. Middle. A little bit further in, I would say about 125-ish. I'm not going to use my range finder tonight, I can't be bothered. 125-ish, pitching wedge, about 90% and try and stop it dead, I think. That was a good 20 degree, that though. Very good 20 degree. So here we go. In fact, that's the best, one of the best 20 degrees I've ever hit. I'm right back in the centre of the fairway. Wow. Well done, John. Right, so it's not going to be in the front of it anyway. Fact, it might as well pass the green, and I think it's in the rough bit off to the right. It might be in that rough, but never mind. Ah, I've messed that up from where I was. That's a bad shot. Anyway, I've got a third pitch on, hopefully, and we'll see from there. Well, I need to go to spec savers. I mean, look at that, it's actually on the green. I thought it was a terrible shot, and I'm putting. I'm putting for birdie. In fact, I got a birdie on the did I get a birdie on the last? I did, didn't I? So I'm actually putting now, believe it or not, two birdies in the row chip. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I wonder I wonder if, if it counts if you get a birdie par par, if that counts as three pars and you get the three pars chip. It must. It must how are you? You've got to count that. You can't be punished for, for, for a birdie, can you? that a little bit. So it doesn't matter, friends, it is another par. It is another par. That makes me... Uh, I don't know what the score is. But... I don't think I get any chips on that hole, do I? No, no, I don't think I get any chips for that. I don't think I get any chips for that, which is a shame. But if I par the next one, I think I'm in perfectly entitled going birdie par par. I think I'm perfectly entitled to the um, the three pars in a row chip. It, it, it's got to count, surely. Surely that's got to count. You, you can't be punished for hitting a birdie. Surely to goodness, that's part of it. I'll have to read the, the, the proper rules, but I'm pretty sure it would allow you to um, to have to have that. Oh, I'm going off the white on so I'm right back here. I'm pretty sure they would allow you to do that. And again, golfers, I must apologise. I'm doing the front nine again, but this is the quickest route round, and I've only got an hour and twenty minutes. It's now I've got forty-five minutes to get round, and I'm on the sixth now. I've got the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and possibly the first to play if I can get through it. If I can get through it. So yeah, driver out. So yeah, if I get a par here, I think I'm entitled to the the, four, the three pars in a row chip, which would make me four one. I don't, I don't. I, I'm surprised, really. I haven't been in the sand yet. I'm really, really surprised at that. No sand. Dirty Joe, Dirty Joe, where are you singing now? I don't know. Good old Buster. Right.
perfect. That's the bomb. Although there is the bunker there, but I think it might have cleared that bunker. I think it might, well, that's what I mean, I mean, clear, I mean, I think it might have cleared it flew slightly off to the, round to the right to avoid it, but that was a bomb. I love that drive, I've had two good drives then. Yep, I'm getting the hang of these high bombs. So, yeah, I, I, in fact, I'll, so I'll stop the recording until I get to the ball. In fact, no, I, I want to tell you more about uh, the Ballad of Busker Scrubs because I thought that was a brilliant film. Just in case you want to watch it, uh, there was a bit. I don't know if any of you watched Gotham. Who used to used to watch Gotham? I only saw the first two seasons. In fact, I used to love Gotham. I, I watched two and a half series, and then I stopped watching it when I moved back to them with, with my parents because uh, obviously it would be part of being at work in case something happened. She couldn't be there for us and everything. But I used to watch. Um, Gotham and he used to be the penguin and he's in it and he's got no arms and no legs and Liam Nielsen um, the guy from Taken and I walk amongst the tombstones and all that he's um, he's like this this guy who looks after him but he's like a stage act and he comes onto the stage and he's um, he's quoting Washington's speech no, not Washington, Abraham Lincoln's speech about um, the uh, independence speech, you know, five scores and seven years ago, that one. And uh, he's our forefathers, and he's, and he's saying it and says it, and he's got massive crowds. And then you see it over the years getting smaller and smaller and smaller uh, until Nathan's getting no money off them. And he's putting up with this penguin who's got, he's not the penguin, he's, he's obviously called someone else, but he's, he's, he's putting up with them for having no arms and no legs because he's earning them money. And he's feeding them and clothing them and doing all that. And then when he stops doing the money, he starts to get a bit sick. And then he sees this other stage act, which is a chicken, a counting chicken. And the bloke's going, there's no point in watching because I'm telling you it all now, but it was so good, I've got to tell you this. He goes to the chicken, asks the chicken any questions, any questions, any sums, two plus seven and there's bells, like with all the numbers underneath. And he dings nine, yes, ask him anything else. Five plus six, eleven, ding. There we go, ask the chicken anything else. He'll never get it wrong. Three and eight, eleven, ding. And the chicken's knocking it with his head and everything. And Nielsen's looking at the penguin like, what the hell are you earning me? <laughs> and this counting chicken, what, what, what could he earn us? And then at the, oh, it's not, I, I got a bit upset at the finish actually because he's, He's looking at this great big bag of cement. And there's the book. Bloody hell, I've absolutely kapowed that one. I've bombed it. And he's looking at the, um, the bag of concrete, looking at the penguin. And he grabs hold of the penguin where the lake is and getting the bag of cement. And I'm just like, oh, bloody hell. And the next thing you know, you see the empty van with the chicken at the back. I just thought, no, no, that, that's not on that. <laughs> It's not real, so I don't get upset over it, you know, but that's that's the sort of thing the Corn Brothers do. There's always twists and stuff to it, and it's always a bit not nice, you know, but as long as you take it as bloody fiction, it's all right. It's not too bad. It doesn't upset you too much. Well, bloody hell. Okay, 52 out. Thank you. Slightly to the front. right it drew round and I think it's in the bunga. I think I'm gonna have to use the sand chip. Damn it. That's my fault golf friends. I should have been focusing more on the golf than more on the uh, the counting chicken. The counting chicken got me there for a minute. I mean how do you do that? Teach a chicken how to multiply seven plus two nine ding one plus eight nine ding Three plus four, seven, ding. Three plus eight, eleven, ding. What a chicken that is. That is one clever chicken. I don't know how he did it. 
maybe you just recognise like the voice and then the voice you, re you associated with the different bells and you must have got more treats the more you got right or something, I don't know how he did it but the poor penguin lad uh, yeah, I, I think I'm in the bunker here because I saw it just drift round off the slope, left to right slope and I should have, I should have gone what I normally do, hit it slightly to the left you know that John, you know it curls round back into the hole but no, I thought I was oh, right in the middle of the bunker yep, I've got the sand bunker chip brilliant so it's 3-2 now absolutely brilliant that's just what I wanted, right in the middle of the bunker I'll tell you what, it's getting dark quick tonight it's, it's, it's only 10 to 7 I should have another 40 minutes of daylight but I haven't right, okay I'm have to be the 60, it's up on the lip you just stay there trolley 60 degrees, 60 degree, there we go It's all right. I'll take it. Accept it. <sighs> Could have been worse. Could have been worse. It's actually quite a lot of sand in there. There's the towel. Right. A quick rub. Yeah, I've got a new tightless wedge coming. It'll be interesting to see what it's like. 60 degree. Bucky design, it's, it's it's the same sort of one as I've got now. It's well, not 60 degree, but the other wedges, it's the same sort of thing. Um, I think I got it for 40 quid second hand off eBay. We'll see when it comes if it's any good. It probably will be because I think it's the same sort of design and year from the other wedges. But I wanted one to replace my Cobra for ages. So it's meant to be in okay condition, not great, but we'll see when we get it. Okay. Oh, damn it. I've, I've bugged it for the for the three paws as well. I haven't had the three paws chip if I don't put this in. Okay, never mind. Go on, son. Go on, son. Oh! Never mind, it's a five, it was close. My god, that was tight. It just hit the lip on the, on the left side. The video might show you that if I've got it on camera. Really? Just hit the lip on the left side. Rather unfortunate. But never mind, never mind. Rather unfortunate. But uh, oh, I've got to get the next tea box. I've got to get the little sand chip, haven't I? So it's 3 2. I'm plus one still, that's the main thing. I'm not a negative, I'm still plus one. I've still got the long drive chip, I've still got the birdie chip. Uh, what was the other one I got? Got something else. Oh, the, yeah, the one push, the one push. Uh, all the way back to the white. Oh, hey, John, let's get one within five feet so you can get the nearest to the pin one. That would be nice, wouldn't it? We, we should make it six feet, so say my distance on a par. Par three or a good approach shot. Okay. One seventy eight. Where's the wind going? That's the important thing here. Right behind me, it's got to be a six iron. Because the seven ain't gonna get there, it's got to be a six iron. It'll be a hard shot, but I'm going to give it the best I've got. Oh, and before I do that, let's go into my little box, my little pouch. 
Where's the negatives? I haven't lost my temper yet. I haven't had an eight. I haven't had a seven. I haven't hit the trees. Where is it? There is the chip. Water? No, no, no. Sand. There we are. So that's coming out of the pouch into the little box. Yeah, so it's 3 2 now. Sadly. Line, slightly to the right, but it is staying a tiny bit. Heard a bang. I don't know if it's in the bunker. I don't know if it's the side of the green, but we'll see what we get there. And again, I'll just walk it up with you because oh bloody hell, there's a, there's, there's a bloke actually playing there. I don't believe that. There's a bloke actually playing on that. Oh, I'll have to run you up again. It's one of those situations. I think it might be the same bloke. Also last night. Um, good luck to you, mate, because it's now three minutes to seven. Good luck to see if you can get nine holes in. I hope you do. But it's getting very dark now. Um, after this one, I've got three more to get in. I hope I can do it. I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. In fact, I'll start doing a little jog because. I want that boat to get through as well. I want to be generous to him. Right. Oh, yes, I'm on the green. I thought so. I thought it was a good strike. Just at the front line, so we've got a long putt. But it will be for birdie this. It will be for a birdie putt, and that's what matters. I'm on the green. See if there was a green or regulation chip. I'm sure there was with another set. I don't think there is with this one. But there we go. Okay, putter. Quite enough, unfortunately. Brilliant. Brilliant. Fantastic. Bravo. Uh, gracias. Uh, whatever you want to call it. Oh, that's good. That's good. No chips again, which I'm a little annoyed because I think I deserve the green regulation because I've played bloody well to get it. But uh, never mind. Still 3 2. I haven't lost my temper yet. Uh, oh, I, w I wish I parred that last hole, you know. It would have been nice, because then it would have been, at least it would have been 4-2 up. At least, at least I'm, I'm, still in the, I'm still in the green. That's the one thing, golf fans, I'm still in the green. I've got three to play, I'm still in the green. So here we are. Luckily the whites aren't as far back this time. Uh, you see, normally by now, if it wasn't for the bloody steroids and stuff by now, I would say to myself, you know, well, I did it before. I ordered a Domino's halfway through the round once. Well, I'm talking months ago. I'm not talking now. My diet is very, very good now. 
I'm doing everything I can. I'm on this anti-inflammatory diet. I'm doing everything I can. Fish, chicken, vegetables, rice, bland stuff, anything bland. Anything that doesn't taste about, you can have. <laughs> ah, it's marvellous. It's marvellous, isn't it? Right. But we will get there. I'm bloody sure we're going to get there. Okay, here we go. I'm not Phil Mickelson, I can't just keep doing this all day. I'll do it my damn best. absolutely bombed it again wow three bombs in a row pow 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 with the driver I've, I, I tell you what golfers I've never drove it this well I've, apart from maybe when I was a darling and I drove it like an absolute well I drove it like a Formula oh. One driver let's put it that way I was like Lewis Hamilton like their darling apart from one or two but uh, bloody hell, I've hit three absolute scorches of a drives tonight. Three absolute bullets. So yeah, that's a white tee. I wish, I wish I did that on the Break 85 Challenge. Three bullets, it would have made my life so much easier. It's funny, some nights, you know, I'll come out and I'll do this. I, I mean, I've hit the hybrids absolutely brilliant. I've hit the driver absolutely brilliant and I can't fault one bit of my game there I, I, I can't fault it i have been phenomenal and then some days i'll come out and i can't drive for my life i can't hit hybrids like you've seen me top them high and i've topped them low but tonight i've come out and i've hit them like rockets it's just weird i mean sometimes i feel like i can play not no, i don't like bragging but sometimes i feel like i'm a single figure handicapper I, I say to myself, if I could really pull my game round, I could be a seven or eight handicapper if I really wanted to. And then there's sometimes I come out and I think, for God's sake, John, are you really a 10 or 11 handicapper? Are you, are you really that good? Because you've come out tonight and you've shot 89 and you've shot 93. But of course, with the health and everything, that comes into play as well a lot, I think. I think like last night and stuff. I, I, and I think adrenaline does a lot of good for us as well. I think the adrenaline really gets us going uh, there's times where I've been down and flat and been knackered but once I do something good and that adrenaline gets flowing I feel better again I feel like right I've got a little bit of an extra boost for a few holes you know but that was an absolute bullet absolute bullet and I should be seeing the ball pretty soon down this slope which I'm not, which is scaring me a little bit again. Oh no, here it is, here it is, here it is. I think this is it. Is it? No, it's not. Oh, here it is. It's, uh, it's, 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 yeah, it's kicked off the bank a little bit, hasn't it? It's come round, come round to here. Still safe though. Still safe. I've still got a shot. It's not the end of the world. Oh, steady, steady trolley. Um, where the hell am I going to put this to keep it steady? It's not going to keep steady on here. Just, just right. I'm going to have to knock it up. That's it. Oh no, no, it's not it. Yes, it is. It. Okay. Sorry, it's not going to be the best view. I'll have to put it a little bit. You mightn't see the shot properly, but that's the way it's got to be. I'm afraid to keep it up. 114. So make sure you get it up there, John. It'll have to be a pitching wedge. Make sure you get it up there. P, 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 P. There you are. Uh -oh. 
bring it around a little bit so you can see the shot better. Right, just oh. I'll do. We'll have to do unfortunately. It's not on, it's not on. Maybe hold a little bit at the bottom of the shaft then because it's quite high up, it's going to go left to right, so maybe a little bit further left than you normally go. I'm not sure what happened with that, if it's bunker, I'm not sure if it's over and it's gone over the green, but we'll see when we get up there. Not actually as good as I thought. Right, it's going to have to be a little 60 degree pitch. How is 60 way at? Okay. Yeah, the short game to do is let me down a little bit. Normally, normally, that's the best part of the game, but I feel a little bit shabby tonight. It's just a little bit shabby. Not 100% like it normally is. But it happens. Again, a five, not too bad, not too bad, we'll take that. Two more holes to play, we'll move on to the ninth, the ninth and the first. The ninth and the first, yeah, I usually do that, I just usually walk on to the second because it's the easiest way of doing it for me, because it's right on from my house. So, two more holes to go. 15 minutes, we should do it, we should just be able to do it in 15 minutes. But I'm glad I've done this again, golf friends. I'm glad I've got out. Because I haven't had a great day again, but my God, I'm glad I've got out and done something about it. I've done something about it. I've turned it around again. And at least I can say, even if I go to bed feeling bloody awful, at least I can say it to myself, you know what? Buggier, buggier, all this inflammatory condition, whatever you are. Buggier. I've got out there. I've played nine holes of golf. And you can't do a damn thing about it. That's the one thing I love. Just, you know, if I stood in the house today, I could have said, oh, I've done out all day. I've been miserable. I've been mourning. The only thing I've done is I've done half an hour's work and, you know, I've been miserable. I've been my joints are aching. My eyes have been weak as hell. I could easily do that and see my hands are in pain. But you know what? In fact, the, you know, there's the yellows there. But you know what, buggy you, I've done nine holes of golf and there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. That's what I love about this. It's like, it's a bit like cricket. When I got someone out, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have got someone out, like, you know, <laughs> test cricketers and stuff, Michael Pax and Marcus North and all them, you know, you shouldn't be getting these players out. Well, I'm sorry to say this, but I have got you out. At Symes at Watsonians, I mean, bloody hell. He had a few games for South Africa. He averaged 100 and... That season, I think he averaged 123 for Watsonians. 2012, was it? 2013? I forgot now, but... Everybody said, oh, when he comes to the crease, he's guaranteed 100. <laughs> Not that day he wasn't. He hit us for two fours in a row, but the third one he didn't. Right. Sorry, uh, what, I forgot your first name, Simon. If you're watching, I, I didn't mean that in a nasty way. You were a very good cricketer. You deserve your 123 average. Unfortunately, that day you just bumped into the wrong bloke in the wrong mood at the wrong time. Right. Oh. 
might be a lot taller. But right through their face. Just put it right in their face. That's the first bad bite. But I must be honest, Carl Fred, it's almost pitch black, so I'll, I'll use that as an excuse that I don't know where I was hitting it. It's got just through there, and the left has got it right through it. So I'll play another. That one but it's gone to the left. That's that bunker. I will find that one. Where the hell is this here? Oh. My blue tea, my blue tea. It's gone, I'll never see it anymore. But never mind. We'll move on. It's a full thing, it's just... What was that, sorry? <laughs> the first one's gone straight in there, I didn't know where I was hitting it. The very first ball. You just want to tee off, mate, and go ahead? No, no, mate. Uh, you know, the first one's gone in there, I don't know if I'm going to fight now. Mark, uh, uh, it's in there somewhere. I, I, couldn't, um, I couldn't even see the ball, man, in, 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 the, in the shade. That last one down there. Right. Uh, it's just like, like, like in there, I'm not going to find in there, I may as well just see it's a lost ball, it just went straight into the trees. Uh, hey? <laughs> no, I just live on the estate. I'm just, yeah, I just, you know where the temple is, just to the right there. You just just drive around, it's alright. Um, oh, the path five, yeah. Right, uh, along the, the, like, you see along, it's not that long to be honest. Oh, hold on, that's it there. There you go. There we go, not too bad. I'll play this one, make it fair. <sighs> Jesus, 225 yards. <laughs> I've got the bunkers in the way, I'm not going to carry it, but I'm going to give it a damn go. That's a bit of scum, isn't it, this? Aye. Uh, right. From the yellows, it's not too bad, this one, but from the whites, I wanted to challenge myself and say, right, you know, but from the whites, it's not as easy as you think. Yeah, I've just not seen that. Yeah, I've got that. See the guy with the little tennis court? Yeah, but just to the left, is it? The, the little, on, it's on the shed. Right, got you. That's your line. Got you. Cheers, mate. Uh, uh, sometimes I can play well. I, I mean, I've broke 80 before. I've actually shot 79 on here. Uh, and sometimes I've shot 93. <laughs> uh, my handicap's 11 at the minute. Uh, which isn't too bad, but sometimes I come on here and like tonight I've played all right. I've probably front nine. I've probably shot about a 41, 42. But sometimes you can come out on here and one bad shot, and then your round just collapses, and the next thing you know you've shot a 91, 92, and you just think, what the hell, you know? Oh, can I? I keep, I keep, I keep telling. You can drive the ball. Uh, if you can keep it straight and you can keep it away from the bunkers and you keep it away from all the hazards, it's an easy course. If you can get up the tee bunker, it's an easy course. Uh, if you can hit it straight, but like me, if you hit this far like me and, and you duff one, all of a sudden you get into trouble very quick. I mean, the 16th, I played it the other night and I parred it. I says, bloody hell, that's good from the white tees, which is about 560 yards or something, isn't it? On the back nine on the uh, that point. Really? Yeah. I I, 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 I played with one of the members once in a competition, this was donkeys ago. I says, what's your handicap? Well, 15. And he went round in 78. I, I was amazed. I said, are you sure you're 15? You're not a bandit. No, no, this is like the lowest round I've ever scored. I said, what a time to do it, playing with me. But that's that. Even if a pro shot 78 on here, I would think that is bloody good golf. But, uh, 
Yeah, some of the some of the boys playing the Ryder Cups played this course, Westwood and uh, Donald, who's vice captain. Yeah, I think. Um, I'm a member here, then. Yeah, I'm a member here. Yeah, I've been here for about eight years now. I've just joined this year. So this must be my first one. Yeah, that's mine. That's my first one. Uh, uh, sorry, provisional, that's be provisional, that's be provisional. Drive, it? It's not too bad, not too bad. Yeah. I've been driving it well and then sometimes when I hit it too far and you, I, I can sometimes push it off to the left and I look like that's a right idiot. That's it. You can, you can, yeah. You, you, you it's like me dad, me dad, he only hits it like 200 yards. But everything is just dead straight. Constant. Yeah, and he, you'll not make a mistake. So you, on a par four, you mightn't be able to reach the green. But, um, right, so it's round about here somewhere. Unless that was it, I've picked it up. Might, might have been, you know. I, th I think it might have been. I think I'm going to have to go back. What's your name, Paul? Uh, John Hutton. I'm Raymond John. Hi, Raymond, nice to meet you. Whatever you want. You don't know what to do with these days. Uh, you don't know what to do with Covid. Well, you, never, you never know. I might see you on the, uh, the course. Might do, you might do, yeah. See you, Raymond. Nice yeah, meeting yeah. you. Oh, I've got to go all the way back. Oh, good hell, it's still recording. Right, well, I've actually picked up my ball from where it was, so I've dropped it back from where it should have been. Okay, so we're going to pitch it up, and then we'll clear it first, and then we'll get in. I just, I just, I just can't see. I can't see, it's pitch black. I cannot, I cannot believe I've, I've actually recorded that, that entire conversation. Yeah, he was alright, that broke. He was alright. Um, aye, just playing on his own like me. Might be someone when I'm better I'll have a, I'll have a bit of a round with. Raymond. Raimondo. Sounded Italian, he looked Italian a bit, a little bit. He had a little bit of an Italian thing to him. I'll tell you what, this first ball, okay, if I even go for it. You know, I've got a funny feeling about this. The first one I've picked up, right? And I've hit that one. I think my drive somewhere out there. I, I don't know what the hell I've done, but yeah. I think I've picked up my driver. I think I, picked up, I might have picked up the provisional. I think my ball's back out there somewhere. The first one I hit. Now, it's either, um, that's either my, well, we know for a fact it's either me provisional on me first. Now, he said that was a hell of a drive, right? Now, let's have a think about this. If my ball isn't round about this area from my hybrid, then I've got a funny, funny feeling. Yeah, I've, 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 I've got a funny feeling that's my provisional. I've got a funny feeling I've, I've hit my... No, 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 that's the proper ball. Because the first one was in the trees, I've hit it and it's gone there. I think my provisional ball that I drove is back out on that course. Now I'm going to go to the first in pitch black and I'm going to play the hole. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous what I'm doing, by the way. This is the most ridiculous idea I've ever come up with. 
and I'm going to be in pitch black when I get to my house. I'm going to do it, and I'm going to have a look and see if my provisional ball. That, it is the provisional. This is the mucky ball. This is the mucky ball. So that's how. I've, yeah, that's evidence enough. That it's the mucky ball. So the mucky ball is my original ball. So I've actually shot a one, two. Three, four, five. I've shot, actually shot a five there. So that's a proper five I've shot. But there's no chips or anything for it. So it doesn't really matter. Um, what was I saying? So my provisional is out there. It's out there, my provisional. It's out there, probably left side of that big bunker. Now I'm going to have a look. I'm going to play this hole. This is the most stupid idea I've ever had in my life. I should just leave it, but I'm not because it's a two quid ball. Now I'm going to play this hole in pitch black. I'm not going to know where it's gone, but I'm going to play it. And I'm going to try and find where that provisional ball is. I can't believe I'm still recording this. You've heard the conversation and everything and all that rubbish. Okay. This is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Where the hell that's gone? That could be absolutely anywhere. It could be anywhere. I'm playing in the darkest conditions I have ever played in. And I mean the darkest I have ever, ever played in. I think my provisional is down there. I think it's, it's where that left fairway bunker is. I've got a horrible feeling it's there. Now I don't know where the hell that ball's gone. That to me. That, that could be, it could have got, I think it's gone right. But as far as I'm concerned, it is absolutely pitch black. And it's, it's only 25 past, I thought I had till half past. I've got that one wrong, I've got the sunset completely wrong. And it looks like... Oh, John, you should have come out ten minutes earlier. Ten minutes earlier, you would have been all right. I am literally not seeing a damn thing now. I am literally not seeing a damn... Hold on. Here's a ball here. That's going to be it. It is. Right, OK. That's my ball. That's my first ball. Bloody hell. I've hit that bad. Right, I'm just going to hit an iron down. At least I can find where I hit the iron. Uh, blah, 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 seven. Okay. Right, we'll find that. We'll be able to find that. What a test this is. I've never, ever, 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 ever played in these conditions in my life. But I tell you what, that ball, I'm going to have a look. I'm not going to leave it. A bloody good drive like that, I am not going to leave it. Because the bloke the, the, the blo said, that's a bloody long drive, and I thought to myself, well, surely to goodness, that kind of be my, uh, if it was all the way down, no, I kind of, can it be? Can it be me? Um, I'm going to have a look for it though. I'm going to make damn sure that I have a look for it. I'm not going to just give up on the bloody thing. Two quid a ball. I'm not letting somebody have a brand new Wilson 
Optics DX ball. I can shove that right up the backside. Uh, right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Christ almighty, it's pitch black. Um, have a quick look and we'll have a scout around this area. Is it in this bunker? No. Is it round about anywhere? No. No. Well, the burglars are well and truly out now doing the business. The drug dealers. What's that? No. Nah, no, nah. Uh, I've got to, I'm just going to have to um, accept this that tomorrow someone's going to find a brand new Wilson DX ball, Optics DX ball, and they're, um, they're going to be delighted. Brand new ball because it must be provisional. Oh. Well, never mind, golf friends. It's two quid and a golf ball gone. Oh, hold on, hold on. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? It's absolutely pitch black. How I'm, I'm going to get in the house? It's going to be absolutely pitch black. Jesus, it goes quick here in the when you get to uh, the middle of September. Nice job, mighty. Right, okay, John. Let's try and focus on finding this other ball. This is when this is when I needed those golf finder glasses. It really is. And if I can't find the ball, I'm just going to have to drop one and lose another ball because I really just, I, I can't see a damn thing now. What's that? <laughs> Bloody hell, get the gritters and the gas lights out. Jesus Christ. Right. I think a little seven iron punch so I don't lose it. Should be alright. That's a seven iron punch. Golf heads, can you still see me? <laughs> can, you, can you actually see, still see me? Because, like, this is now, like, you know, 1% light. I'm, I'm really not skipping it up. I've hit a sprinkler head there, I haven't even seen it. This is literally like, well, this is just a joke. I've just punched it down there, literally 100 yards, so I don't lose the bloody ball. I'll probably still pass it. God almighty. This is unbelievable. Come on, ball, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? No, no, that's not it. You know what? I've completely lost this ball. I have completely and utterly lost this ball. I cannot tell you where it's at. I cannot tell you where the bloody balls are, and I've probably walked all the way past it now. Now I've only I've only punched it up a hundred yards or so. It wouldn't it wouldn't be this far down. I'm gonna have a little scat around and look another, another look down. Last hole's gonna to have to be a scrap. I just I just punched it down, golf friends. I really did just punch it down. I heard it, I heard it and everything, and 
Yeah. Yeah, someone else has got themselves another new, brand new, well, not brand new, that one was used for nine holes, but another Wilson ball. Ah, it's a shame. It's a shame to finish it like that. I mean, if I got in 10 minutes, if I literally got in 10 minutes earlier, it would have been fine. It would have been absolutely fine. But, no, I'm, I'm sorry, you, you can't, you can't, you can't, um... Oh, here it is, here it is. Oh my goodness. I'm so, <laughs> I'm still gonna play it. I'm still gonna play it, golf friends. You're not going to see me, are you? You're not going to see a damn thing on that camera. Uh, eight iron, pump it up. Oh, hey John. Is that an eight iron? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? I've hit one, two, three. That's be fourth. In the pitch black. Absolute pitch black. The owls are out now. Burglars are out. Every bugger's out. Who shouldn't be out, but I am. I am. The one decent bloke who shouldn't be out, and I am. Uh, hold on. Oh, where the bloody hell is it? Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay. This is great for the camera, this, because you're not going to see a thing. You're not going to see a thing. Right, put a... It's five. Well, that's a seven. You don't. You only get the seven if it's on a par four. That was one of the rules, so I don't get the chip for that. Um, if it was an eight, I got a chip for a par five. But I got a seven on a par four, and you don't get it for that. So, final score: three, two, plus one. If you do want to add the seven on, which everyone would love to see, me just go break even. It's break even. But that would be a bit harsh on myself. But for the sake of the channel, to make everybody laugh, let's say I did get the seven chip. That makes me even. So that's the end of that. That's the end of that video, girlfriends. Well in there. This is absolutely pitch black. But I'm glad I've got through it and I've done nine holes. I've done nine, nine holes somehow. Nine holes of poker chip golf, and I either think it's plus one if you play by the proper rules, or if you want to be harsh on John, he comes out of it. It evens. Right, I'll have to go around here because they've, they've, they've put this thing up. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. up. Oh. So, yeah. It is now absolutely pitch black, golf friends. Pitch black. I don't know if you've even seen me. I don't know what the hell is going on. The owls are out. I'm out. Burglars are out. Drug dealers are out. The people who we won't speak of are out. The people who go... Um, Night shift workers, they're all right. they're decent people. You kind of call night shift workers, they're all right. <laughs> Those who work night shift, they do a bloody good job. Without them, my God, we'd be in trouble. So yeah, that's that done.
I just hope the video, I don't have to cut it out like that because it's too long. So that's the end of that video. Um, this is John from John Hutton Golf Channel. Keep subscribing and liking the channel. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's Poker Tube Golf done. See you later. Bye for now. And don't forget, charity challenge, three or four days. And there's going to have to be a deadline because I might be all right then. Probably by the weekend will be the deadline. Um, doesn't have to be much, just a pound. Prizes are definitely a t-shirt, definitely a hat, definitely a towel. So yeah, please donate and help Cancer Research UK for my friend. Thanks very much. This is John Hutton. Keep subscribing and liking. See you later. Bye for now. Bye.